Earlier we have covered how to enable this MCP server using Studio Transport Protocol. In this particular video we are going to focus on SAC Transport Protocol which is going to help us to connect to a remote servers. So in this demo we are still going to use our local code only but instead of exposing it using Studio Protocol we are going to expose it using SSE Protocol and then we would try to connect to it using MCP Server SSE. So let's go to our code and see how we can do it. First of all we have to create our custom server. So for that we are just going to rely on our earlier code what we have used in studio so i'm just going to take this code all together and we'll put it into a new file which is going to be sac underscore server dot py and here i'm just going to paste it now to expose it into sac mode what we have to do is we have to just pass our transport protocol as sac now what would happen in this case once you put this transport protocol as sac if I go ahead and run this particular server, then it's going to get exposed as an endpoint, which is going to be this one. So you could see just by changing the protocol method, it has been exposed as an URL. Now this is going to be our URL. So it's localhost 800 where this particular server is going to run. What we have to do now is we have to create one client. So I'm just going to copy this, our earlier client, what we have built mcp underscore demo dot py. And let me just paste it over here. And I'm just going to name it mcp demo ssc now let's go and see like what kind of changes we have to make over here first thing what we have to do is instead of server studio we have to use server sse this is going to be our new server rest of the things we can keep it as it is instead of calling this studio we have to now call sse and once we do the sse again you could see like we have to pass params and name and cache to list so here i can just say custom sse server the major change what we have to do is in the param section so instead of calling this we have to call the endpoint and which is going to be this so we are going to call our url and at the end we have to pass this sse this particular code as we have seen earlier is going to give you the tool name which is completely optional also this particular code is going to give you the trace id which would help you to trace this particular request i am just going to remove it just to focus on our code over here and that's it now I can go ahead and run this client code but before running this code we just have to make sure our server is up and running. So I will go to my SAC server and I will just try to invoke it first using this python command and this is up and running. Now I will initiate another terminal and in this terminal then I will try to run my client code. So here also I will just go to save directory and then I will just execute this python command which is going to be mcp demo ssc.py and now you could see it has started a server there were two tools on this one get weather and add numbers and then it's a starting mcp server and now it's trying to answer this particular question how is the weather in hyderabad you could see we are able to get a response now but instead of running this client and server in studio transport mode we have connected it via sse transport method and this is all about your custom mcp server which we have tried to connect using sse transport method but there are some pre-built remote servers as well so let me just try to connect with one of the remote servers so here we do have a list of some of the pre-built remote mcp server we will try to connect with one of the servers over here so i will just try to connect with this git mcp and here is the url for that so anytime if we have to connect with remote mcp server we have to look for the url which we have to pass on to so i will just take this and i will just go ahead and pass it in my client code and then because this is related to git so i can ask any question related to git over here so i I will just ask how to update repository in git i'm asking very basic question over here and because this is a remote mcp server so it is already hosted somewhere we don't have to install any kind of dependency in our local machine or we do not have to run any kind of custom server as such so we can go ahead and just close all of our processes which has been running so far and i can just go ahead and try to run this code directly so let's see what we get in the tools because we are also listing out all the tools what we have under particular server so here we could see these are the different tools which are available on this git mcp remote server search generic code generic documentation fetch generic documentation 
url content and there is one more i have just asked this question how to update repository in git and then it has just used one of the methods over here to pull out all this information here you could see the response what we are getting open your terminal or command prompt navigate to your repository run this particular command and this command does two things and then there are some details and then how you can you know merge it using this fetch and merge and at the end how we are going to push it into our master branch so these are the different ways you know using which you can connect to remote servers using scc transport protocol that's all what we have in this video thank you for watching